Hi, guys. Just kidding. Uh -huh. So I just, like, filmed a video, a sad video, so I thought I'd make a happy video on the same shirt that I was just wearing with my teacup, which is now cold. But I'm going to have to go put new stuff in it. But I saw said something in the last video that kind of sparked this wanting to make another one, which is going to probably going to be not too long, but longer than normal. Because this last one's going to be like 32 minutes. It's really long. I just kind of rambled. Anyways, like I'm doing now. I'm going to talk about being gay. Which everybody talks about being gay because everybody hates gay people. I'm just kidding. Everybody doesn't hate gay people. I think people are confused about being gay. Um... I've known since I was knowingly knowing. I always knew in the back of my head that I was different since I was really little. I've always wanted to be a tomboy-ish. Sometimes I want to be girly. Sometimes I don't. Um, like the hair, right? No, I'm just kidding. The hair is so I can donate it to some little ch child or children that needs hair because they're going through chemotherapy or have alopecia or other unforeseen medical problems. Um, anyways, look at this. This is like two months, three months, two months, July, August, almost three months. Kind of just seriously, this is just how I kind of wake up. Like I kind of put hairspray in it just because it was kind of gross and I, it was kind of all crazy on this side and it's just still crazy <laughs> doesn't matter anyways um being gay guys being gay I don't really like saying being gay because I'm just me I'm just Nichelle I'm just I just work I come home the wife makes dinner sometimes I make dinner most of the time except for this week she's making me nummy food She's making me fat, guys, because I need to go work out. But anyways, <laughs> we're just like a normal, like, family. We haven't had kids yet, but we have animals. Where is Pumpkin? Pumpkin! Pumpkin! She's in the bedroom. On the bed. I have a story for you at the end of this, if I can remember. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um... Anyways, we're just nor like normal people. I don't know why people think that we're so bad. The only thing that's different is we're two women. Um, and not to be stereotypical, but I am more masculine than my wife. My wife loves dresses and loves high heels. Like I think if she could have a closet full of high heels, she would. But I kind of refuse to buy her expensive high heels, even though she'd probably look totally hot in them. But anyways, um, I'm not your stereotypical butch lesbian, because I think, I would call my, if we're talking about stereotyping myself, I'd probably be a femme butch, or butch femme, because I do like being girly sometimes, but I also like being the more masculine but I have more like feelings sometimes it's just crazy so it's kind of it's a mix and I want to have babies so and everybody's like oh but just can't have ba babies fuck you I'm gonna have two children whether you like it or not if I have short hair you're gonna just fucking deal with it got it God, I watched this video a couple weeks ago like you know it was about a month ago this girl's like oh my my friend's lesbian and she's like totally butch, but now she's pregnant. She wants to have kids. Lady, just because you like dressing up or wearing male clothes because it's so fucking comfortable. Like seriously, I'm wearing sweats right now and I wear them to work. I really don't care what people think about what I wear. Everybody's like, oh, you should really care about that. No, I don't care what people think about what I wear, how short my hair is, if I'm wearing makeup, if I wax my eyebrows, if I shave my armpits, or if I shave my legs. I really don't care. It's none of their goddamn business. It's a personal life choice. As long as I wear deodorant and wash my body, it shouldn't be a fucking problem to anybody else. But anyways, I watched this video. I keep getting off topic. I should probably start writing this shit down. <laughs> Before I start this, I can kind of try and stay on topic. I watched a video and this girl was like, yeah, no, my friend wants to have a baby. And she's like, totally butch. I don't think that she, they should have them. You're like basically saying that a woman, a woman, 
unless otherwise decided beforehand, should not have or be pregnant because she is masculine. Fucking crazy. Sometimes I just want to slap a bitch. Sometimes. Anyways. So, I kind of want it to rain, but it's not. It's like too sunny outside. Anyways, um, I've known since a really young age that I liked girls. Um, I was not really confused. I guess you could call me if you want to stereotype again. I lo- I'm kind of attracted to men and women. However, I like the company of women a lot more, obviously, because I'm married to my beautiful wife. Um, I find male genitalia, no offense to any men that watch my channel, but I kind of find male genitalia to be kind of repulsive. Not gonna lie. They're scary. Um, and people make fun of me for that! That I think that they're scary, but they're, they're just not pretty and cute and vagina-like. Their penises, they're long sometimes. And weird looking. <laughs> but anyways... <laughs> I know off that now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I've been awake for a really long time. Um, but anyways, yeah, I've known that I've liked girls for a really long time. Like, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 Like, I think that was 16 years. Yeah, 16 years. I've known, like, I've known, consciously known that I've liked female women, women, for 16 years. Ever since I was 8 years old in a private school, I knew that I liked girls. I didn't really know what it was at the time, because I was like, oh, look, I have, you know, when you're 8 years old, you don't really care, unless your parents are trying to shove shit down your throat, like, okay, like, religion, and they're trying to say, oh, liking other women is bad, or men is men and men are bad, you know, oddly enough, yeah, I had a religion in my life, but it wasn't being shoved down my throat, so I just, you really don't care when you're that young. When you're that young, you just know what love kind of feels like, and that or not really love, but, like, just how you feel. And you don't think it's bad. The only way you start feeling bad about it is when people start making a big issue. It's not a big issue. People just make it a big issue. You find it repulsive that I love my wife? Well, guess what? Sometimes maybe I find your relationship repulsive. If you, th- if you really truly think about it, we can all flip it on each other and just be like, Oh... You want to think I'm repul- my life is repulsive? Well, sometimes people that are sitting there and saying that our life is repulsive and because of their religion, they don't even follow all of the rules that their religion entails. And then they make up an excuse about, oh, oh, it allows for it. No, it doesn't. You say that it does allow for it, but really if you read it and you follow it and you want to follow it and be part of that religion, I think I'm going to be judgmental. I am going to be judgmental towards you. You say you don't like my lifestyle or don't agree with it. Well, I don't agree with your lifestyle because you say you're this one, you're one thing. You get married twice, but you also get divorced. It's like, you say that I'm ruining the sanctity of marriage because I love somebody. Because I love somebody. Because I love my wife. You say that that's the reason why marriage is going down the shitter. But really, if you look at it, when have you ever really seen a gay a gay or a lesbian couple get divorced within 48 hours of getting married. Or 46 days. I have never, as of right now, I have never heard of or seen a gay or lesbian couple just automatically go and get divorced because they're like, oh, I didn't mean to marry you. No. They love each other. A lot of people... I've been with my wife for six years. Six years? No. Yeah. Six years? Oh my god. 2008. 
That was six years ago. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry. I was, like, drawing a blank. Six years. I've been with my wife six years. Six years, it's September 22nd. Mm-hmm. That's a long time. You know, a lot of heterosexual couples get married within, like, the first two years of being with each other. Within... For five years, it was illegal for us to be married. But we stayed with each other. And... Oh, shut up, phone. It's telling me I have a low battery. I just charged it. So I kind of have to make this quick. F. Um... Or I can go plug it in and kind of just sit in front of the thing and film it, but that'd be weird. Um, but it's like, we didn't really have that freedom. A lot of gay and lesbian couples have been together for decades. Yeah, ten years is a decade. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, my mind is just not working today, I'm so sorry. Um, but it's just, it's it's it irritates me. Because I don't want to be judgmental, but I hate being judged because of who I, who I love. My friends, who they love. It's none of anybody else's business but my own. And my own business is loving my wife for who she is. And her love... Her Shelly, quit freaking Facebook statusing, okay? Because you're driving me nuts. Sorry, I'm still using my iPhone because my fucking computer is still broken. So I can't use the camera that I have. Because the little laptop that I have doesn't really work well with loading anything. So, anyways, back on topic. It shouldn't matter. Love sh is the only thing that should matter. If you love somebody, love them with all your heart and with a fiery passion. Unless they're being physically or mentally abusive, then just fucking get the hell out of Dodge. Just do it. Don't put yourself through it. It's not It's not worth it. More than half the time, it'll never change. It'll never get better. They'll never learn. Or they'll learn, and they'll say they learn, but really, they're still the same. Anyways, back on topic. Oh my god, see, see, I'm really bad at this. Topics suck. But no. I don't like being judgmental, but... Living in the country and the world that we do, where people can be mindless idiots and think that it's okay to judge somebody based on love. One of the main things that God preaches is love and forgiveness and acceptance. But you know what? People are just so fucking ignorant, it doesn't even matter to them anymore. They preach it every day on Sunday, but it doesn't... Every weekend on Sunday, but... When it comes down to it, they really like to judge people. They like to say, oh, your love doesn't matter. It doesn't exist in my world. But you know what? It exists in everybody's world but yours. Every mind loves. Every heart beats. Every... It's just... It's just... It's ridiculous. It gets ridiculous knowing that my one of my own family members didn't come to my wedding because she didn't believe in my lifestyle. And I have kept quiet for an entire year, which I think is really, I know, a short time, but I don't want to keep quiet anymore. You don't believe in my lifestyle. I've been with my wife for six years. I haven't been married to her for six years, but I've been with her for six years. In the amount of time that you spent married, two times you've gotten divorced. Two times. The first time I can kind of understand why, and I'm not going to go into the reason why. But don't tell me that my lo love doesn't exist, or it, you just don't agree with it because of your up of of your religion. When really you already trashed your sanctity of marriage when I'm still married to my wife after a year and together with her for six years. Not to mention we are planning to have a family together and we do exactly what you do. We pay rent, we pay our bills, or attempt to. Sometimes paycheck to paycheck can be really small. But don't judge the way I live because I can judge you back. 
and it's very hurtful, and I don't like it. But sometimes my mind just goes blank and just with rage and just wants to punch somebody that says, I don't believe in your marriage, when really, if you look at half of the people, they're the ones that say they don't believe in marriage, or the ones that could have or possibly are ruining their own marriage. Or have children that are gay and don't want to be coming out of a closet that they got put in by their own parents or by their religion. Because people just don't accept the fact that we have a heart, we have a brain, we have lungs, we have skin, we have eyeballs. Sometimes people have no eyeballs, but that's okay. <laughs> but you know what I mean? We all have the same body parts. Women have the same body parts as other women. Men have the same body parts as other men. It doesn't really matter anymore. What difference is it that my love should... My love exists and it should just... Exist. So, I should probably cut this off. And I kind of didn't get deep in this, but I kind of got deep in this. Which is weird. Okay, I really gotta stop saying deep because you know what? It's not really deep, it's the truth. My love exists. I love my wife. I love my family. Please just don't tell me that my love doesn't exist or that you don't believe in it because I, I exist. And I will exist until the day I die. So, anyways guys, I hope you have a great night. And I'm going to go make pineapple upside down cake and upload the last video. <laughs> That's like 32 minutes long and it's probably going to take like 3 hours to upload. So... Alright, I hope you guys have a great night. And I might talk about gay rights some more. Even though I know absolutely nothing about it and I'm gay. <laughs> like, <laughs> all I know is that love is love and that uh, that should pretty much be all that matters. And I wish that that could be all that matters in this world. Is love and peace and harmony. <laughs> so, alright, have a great night guys. Peace. <laughs>